welcome back. And today we're going to be reviewing my collection of Supernaturals by uh, Tonka, released in the 1980s. This is a toy line that's not very well known about, but it's still pretty awesome and it's got a big cult following. So first up, as you can see here, we have the uh, Tomb of Doom playset, which I do have the box for. Supernatural logo, release their hologram power, obviously being the 80s, holograms are a big thing. And uh, this cash in on it, I think that artwork's pretty cool. There. Yeah, the head's actually a flashlight, but uh, mine doesn't work. A rolling tomb floors reveal the pathway to Ghost World hologram. The ancient tomb of doom holds the mysterious entrance to the world of supernaturals. Those who pass through this dangerous tomb become ghostly beings with strange and awesome powers. There's that. I think there's nothing else on there. Oh, no, there's a bit at the bottom. Shows off the collection there. Heroic side and the evil side. We'll get on to them in a minute. This was released in 1987. So, as I said, you can actually remove the head and it's a little torch. Which, if it's working, you could shine down into the tomb, and it comes with this little key, which fits into the uh, tomb bit there. Except, as you can see there, mine's a bit knackered. And what would happen is you um, put one of the figures into the coffin. He would. Turn the key when it was on there, a little hole at the back. See that bit there? You turn the key, the back flips around, and the figure would fall out of there. And then you would open up the tomb, and you'd see the Ghost World hologram, which you probably can't see very well. Can't really see that in this angle. So let's have a look at the figures. So first up we have uh, Lionheart from the Heroic uh, Ghost Warriors. And they all come with a holographic shield. As you can see that the uh, lion. You have a glow in the dark weapon. Then some of them have uh, removable visors or helmets, and you can take these bits off. Show off the hologram effect. I will go through all these later on. Show them off in detail. But for now, we'll just go through the figures. First of all, that was that one. Next up, we have Eagle Eye. He's a Native American, and his shield is an eagle. So they all like glow in the dark weapons. Then we have Thunderbolt. He's like a Viking soldier, Thor type of character. And his shield is a hand with a lightning bolt. So that's that's all the heroic heroic warriors, ghost warriors. Now onto the evil ghost warriors. First up. We have um, 
skull. There's a shield and an eyeball. Right there. Quite see that. An eyeball mace. Spiked mace. So he's pretty awesome. If we can get him to stand up. And then this snake bite. There's obviously snake. And his shield is a snake. And then lastly we have Bernhardt. Is it Bernhardt? Yeah, Bernhardt. He's got a gun and you can't really see that, but I think that's supposed to be like fire. Or something. So there's him. And he'd end up falling over. Not the best service to try and get him to stand right. That's now with the ghost warriors. Now we have the ghost lings. So first up we have Mr. Lucky. Might be able to show you after these. It's a magician that turns into a rabbit. Can't really see from this angle. I will change the angle and go through them. Then we have Hooter. He's lets you come out. Hologram bits there. Fit back into the cloaks. And they all have a glow in the dark weapon. The good guys have that type of handle. The bad guys have like a spiked handle. So you can tell the difference. This one is Spooks. And this one is called See Through. This one is Vampa. See that quite well there. It's obviously a vampire and then it turns into a bat. This sort of uh, dark red one's called a uh, scaredy cat. Scary cat. Weird wolf in black. And then rags. You see that one quite well from there. A pharaoh turned into a mummy. And that was all the uh, figures that they ever released. We did have a few um, vehicles. This was the uh, Ghost Finder car. It's got glow in the dark down here, the wheels, a little battery ram there, some holograms on these bits, these seem to have faded though, I can't really see them. And we could, it's, the only thing it's missing is the uh, projectile for that bit. So, for example, we could get one of these figures and they could go. In the top. Stand there. And you could get one of the. Um, you can get one of the ghostlings. Sitting at the front. And then we have the uh, Evil Sides car, which is this one. Glow in the dark there, it's got some cool glow in the dark skulls there. 
Uh, it's missing, my favorite one's missing the holograms here, and it's also missing the big weapon at the back, unfortunately. But that's what that would look like. And again, fitting a ghostling in at the front, and all the bad guys in. At the back. That's uh, pretty much a complete collection. Tower of uh, Doom is complete. All the figures are 100% complete. So just the car's missing the uh, the missile, and that one's missing a few bits. So let's have a closer look at them. enjoyed this uh, review and showing off my collection of Supernaturals figures and until next time, try for now.